And hello, Shock fans. It's your beloved soldier of the Inverted Cross, Rip the Full Blown Freak Show, aka the Gold Member, here for another Rip's Robot Mode Reviews. And today, we'll be having a look at the awesome Studio Series Voyager Class Starscream. Uh, now, the Studio Series, if you watch my Blackout review, I believe I said it in, um, it's kind of what got me back into collecting Transformers again, because I enjoyed the movie designs, even though that's an unpopular opinion. Um, I love these things. Uh, I like the creepy design. And Starscream never really got a good toy other than the leader class one. And the deluxe one was nice, but it was way too small. So the fact that they actually just kind of upscaled that and retooled a few things makes me very happy. Uh, he's a big Voyager, and he has got me very hyped up for the Megatron that's coming. Uh, just for scale-wise, here he is with uh, Stinger. Cause he's the one I have near me at the moment. Stinger's a pretty cool little figure. Uh, he's a big figure. Um, he's huge. As far as, like, the colors, it pretty much looks like he did in the movie. Like, I mean, I'm glad they didn't go with the tattooed look. Because I don't think, the, the tattoos look stupid to me. But this looks really good. Um, head sculpt. If I can get him to the camera. Head sculpt looks really well. And yeah, I know a lot of people are mad they did away with light piping or they don't do light piping as much. I hate transclearing plastic, so I'm very happy that we're getting painted eyes now. Uh, as far as accessories, he comes with this. And I know they showed him in, like, uh, product shots with the chainsaw from, was it Revenge of the Fallen? Uh, and he didn't come with that. So I'm assuming we're getting a repaint of this guy with the tattoos at some point. And then you can just fold his arm up like this, peg that in. And this just goes... Uh, let me see how it goes in. There we go. And you can give him his weapon arm from the movie. That when he landed on Hoover Dam, and then when he was like shooting at the Autobots in the street. And I know these things come with a backdrop, but I've got Star Springs put up somewhere. They take up way too much space. And I was just checking something there. So, yeah. Uh, I can't remember if I reviewed the Dark of the Moon Deluxe like years ago. Um, but he has a, he's has some of that articulation, but a bit more that that was needed. He's got the swivel at the head. There's a hinge here in the shoulders that let them go up. Let them hinge down like this. You can rotate all the way. Hinge out all the way. Double jointed elbows so there's no problem with range for those. Bicep swivel. Uh, and then hands are on ball joints, and then these can hinge up and down for the due to transformation for the weapon. Uh, there's no waist swivel, obviously. Uh, you can move this joint back and forth to get more of your like thigh swivel type thing, because there is no dedicated thigh swivel. Legs can go very far up. Then he's got the chicken leg knees, and they can go forward. And then he's got another knee here. So I mean, you really got a lot of range on the knees. And then the toes can pivot up and down. So, yeah. I've got all the Wave 1 Decepticons. And Starscream and Blackout really shine. Like, they really are showing that they are putting some love into this line. Like, I absolutely love this Starscream. Um, I've never been a huge fan of the movie Starscream's design, like for it being Starscream, but I actually like the way the robot looks. It looks freaking great. So, yeah, if you can get your hands on this guy, you're definitely going to want him because if you get the Megatron, you got to have Starscream. And I'm assuming hopefully at some point we get a shockwave and a sound wave. So, yeah, you want the whole con crew together. And Starscream is absolutely amazing. Get one, you won't regret it. And until next time, this has been your beloved Soldier of the Inverted Cross, Rip the Full-Blown Freak Show, a.k.a. The Gold Member, signing off. Farewell.